Good morning, one and all. So today is February 14th, and it's about, I don't know, quarter past seven, doing the early morning run. Going to look at about 20 k's. Not sure what pace I'm doing. Don't have a watch anymore. No idea where it's gone. Uh, so for recording purposes, I've just got uh, my phone. It's just in my uh, hydration vest and it's hooked up to a battery charger. It should last the whole length of the run anyway. So, going to use today to kickstart my YouTube channel again. I'm aiming to do at least two videos a week of uh, content. And this is going to range from uh, it will range from running videos maybe some gaming videos when I'm having a rest day but most of all I want it to be about my running my journey where I've come from, where I'm going what's coming up whole heap of things he's hoping the traffic isn't too loud for this video so it took about a K for me to get my breath and to slow it down a bit just doing a bit of a road run as you can tell so running from Churchill I'm going towards Ballara I'll be turning at Hazelwood Estate Road going all the way down turning right to go towards the power station that's now closed uh, and then coming back up switchback for a little bit I'll turn off towards Hawthorne Crescent go out towards Lake Island do one loop there and go back home that should be pretty close to uh, 21 k's maybe a little bit over anyway I'll get a little bit more into this run Sorry, and start recording again. See you guys. So, let's have a recap, shall we? For those that are new to the channel, thank you for coming and watching the video. Uh, gonna be doing a uh, how to series and what to train. I'm no elite athlete but I've had a fair bit of experience and I'm going to guide people who might be in the same shoes that I used to be in where I used to weigh over 140 kilos I was nearly to 150 at one stage I believe and I just wasn't happy it took a holiday Oh, multiple holidays to go yep I don't like the way I look I don't feel happy when I'm on holiday I think one time in particular that struck me was Tasmania I was over there with my dad it was like my first ever holiday we spent two weeks over there we were doing rock climbing and we had this uh, beautiful tour guide uh, helping us and I remember standing next door and I'm like no, not happy with that Just that. Morning I'm good thanks, how are you today? And I thought she was beautiful and I uh, didn't like the way I looked many years and photos to convince myself or for others to convince me that I had to lose weight 
not happy. I couldn't even do a hike. It was like a mile. And now at the start of my run, I've already done oh, close to two miles by this point. And I'm talking <laughs> to an extent. And still got a long way to go, about 10 more miles. So, getting back to the story, wasn't happy with my weight. A friend of mine, we don't talk a lot these days because we're not at the same workplace anymore. I was made redundant. <laughs> and he goes, we should go for a run. And I'm like, nothing told me no. And I think that night, or the very next day, I bought two pairs of sneakers for a hundred bucks. And he really didn't expect it, so put my shoes on, had some shorts, had a normal singlet, I didn't have any of these technical ones like I have now, and we went for a run. Went to the Tarogan Railway Reserve, and I ran, probably, if I demonstrate it now, I ran from this point, ah. meh, kept going, and mind you, it was not at this pace, the most I ran was about here, maybe a little bit further, for those that know the reserve, you've got the four uh, posts, <laughs> do the water fountain, I ran from there to the first bridge, hardly anything, and I just couldn't do it, and what got me to run further was constant repetitions, I just had to keep going further, and there's different checkpoints you can use where you could go, okay, I'm going to run from here to here. You can walk and go, okay, I'm not ready to run up a hill, I'll run down it. So you're running down the other side to the next spot. Eventually, I got all these little bits to run to. I try and pick up the pace a little bit. And then there was one day, I don't think I consciously slowed down, but I was looking at marathon videos and in particular the Great Ocean Road Marathon and I was seeing all these expert runners and one lady goes, she was walking up the hills and then running down. She said so many people fatigued running up the hills and she ended up overtaking them on the downs because I was just buggered. So I was using that as an excuse for a very long time saying marathoners don't run up hills. <laughs> How run I am now. And it got to a point and oh, I must have just felt like I needed it much like the runs I do now and I managed to do one whole lap of the reserve didn't stop I was dead and that was only 800 meters or 864 to be exact so it took a long time to get there and then it got to the point okay now that I've done one lap how about I go for one, one lap and a little bit so doing that same course you would I would then start to go for one kilometers non-stop so you run past the start past the bridge a little bit and that would be 1k morning how are we today 
<laughs> Lots of people out this morning. But lots. Too. <clears throat> Mind you, I never see people out on this road walking. Barely even see a car out here. So yeah, that's kind of how I started to be a runner. And then progression occurred. We would have, or Kyron and I would have uh, little races. There's no way I could keep up with him, but I certainly tried. He coached me very well. And we would start doing from bridge to bridge as fast as we could. And that particular segment has hills or bumps, undulations. So it was really hard for me. It's still hard. I just go at a much higher intensity now. And there's one day I just didn't talk. I got to the reserve and I started running. One lap's gone. Kyron is still talking to me. I didn't talk. Two laps have gone. He's like, you're smashing it. At this point, I had never done two laps non-stop and I I just wanted to keep going I didn't want to stop halfway around he's like what's what's going through your mind oh whistling kite <laughs> distracted and I go I don't want to quit I got to the end of three laps and I stopped. That was my goal. I did three laps of the reserve. That's what, 18, 16, 2.2, 2.3 kilometers non-stop. I was happy. And yeah, that's how I started running. Just bit by bit. And now, the longest I've gone in one run, I haven't run it non-stop, is a little over 50 kilometers. So, that's over the process of four or five years. So I've still got, according to right hand day, it is seven years of running. Back, back, back. And people really start to hit their stride. So another couple of years, and I think I'll get to some sort of peak. I'm looking forward to it. But anyway, this part of the video has gone on for a while. Not sure what pace I'm doing yet. I'm guessing about six minute pace. Breathing's all right. I've got a little bit of a stitch, but that'll go away. I'll have some water. It's all good. See you in the next part, guys. I should be about six miles into my run the next time I start this. Bye. Okay guys, I have just turned off of Hazelwood Estate Road, going towards the Hazelwood Power Station now. I uh, definitely had a couple of moments along that stretch where I'm like, oh, I could slow down, I could start to walk, and then I had a little bit of water, and I just kept going. What's the point in slowing down? I'm feeling pretty comfortable. Um, so I'm about six miles in. Six to seven. So I've got a 
little over six k's to go. I mean, six miles. Uh, I should have about 10 k's, roughly, in kilometers. Uh, feeling pretty good. I'm just trying to stick to the same zone. Not making my legs run faster. Not making them run slower. And just cruising along. Uh, so yeah. Not much else to say in this part. I didn't elaborate too much on my current weight in the previous video. Or the previous part. So my current weight now is 104 kilograms. I did get down to like a hundred point one. It would have been nice to see double digits. I don't know if it's gonna happen though. Maybe one day. We'll see. Um, but it's not a huge goal. It would be nice. It would mean I've lost 40 to 50 kilos in my journey which at this rate it averages out to nearly 10 kilos a year uh, 52 but 0.5 of a kilo I think a week I don't know my maths is failing time to shut this video down I'll see you in the next part I should be Let's see, which I'll start recording. I'll be at about 10 miles maybe. We'll see. Bye. Ooh. Okay. I'm really starting to feel it. I've got like two miles to go. Uh, Got a bit of a hill coming up. Part of me's like, just go home, cut it short by a couple of k's. But I really feel like uh, I've pushed myself a little bit. Not a lot, but I want to keep going. Uh, my prediction low two hours I'm guessing maybe 205 and under for this run we shall see when I get back home <coughs> trying to use this part of the video to distract myself a bit anyway Morning ladies. Yeah. If we can just get to the top of this hill without stopping. That should be pretty good for a little bit after that. It's a little bit of game face now just to keep this going. I'll stop this part once I get to the video. I mean, the top of the hill. So I can stop this when I get to the video. This is the video, I can stop. <sighs> oh. Come on, Maddie. You can do this. Oh, that feels really nice. That will breeze. Thank you. Thanks for not being a headwind.
Nearly there. Head back down. I'll see you when I'm in the final stretches of the run. Thanks for watching, guys. Oh, 20.5 kilometers. I decided I wouldn't mind a bit of active recovery for the last. Okay. So. I'm at right on two hours now. I had a feeling I might be close to my personal record, but I'm still a few minutes away, even if I had kept running. <sighs> Overall, I feel pretty good about that. I'm just gonna walk the last little bit. Uh, pretty, uh, I felt comfortable for the most part. Um, but having a look at my last a few Ks, 555, 615, 420, oh, 431, with 400 metres to go. Um, but that's alright. Um, certainly been a while since I've gone out and done a half marathon, especially at this pace. <laughs> uh, starting to get the headwinds. I thought for my first day doing these videos, that's not too bad. Uh, I've enjoyed it. Had some beautiful moments where the sun was behind me and uh, what was it? Nice dark clouds in front of me. I'll chuck those videos up around about now. Uh, I certainly don't mind this wind. Just to have a nice cool off. I'll get back home and have a shower and think about what to do next. Might do some work around the house and uh, get this video edited, uploaded. Might have a nap. I'll have some food first as well. And I'll go from there. Uh, I might have a, another run tonight or might record some stuff for walk jog run tonight being Wednesday. Um, yeah. Apart from that, thank you for watching this video. Thanks for sticking out. I know my videos tend to go for a fair while. Uh, next video might be on Sunday. I'm going out to the track with a few people. They're looking at running for four hours. So I might go out there and just do a slower pace than this. Might do like 6.30s and uh, that's kilometres, not miles. <laughs> uh, go from there. Alright, thanks guys. Thanks for watching the video. Like, share, subscribe, all that stuff. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.